Hello there. I'm Robin Lee Hall. I'm an artist. And in this session, we're going to have a go at drawing a very simple eye. I'm going to be using references from the BP Portrait Award 2020, and you can see those on the left hand side. I'm going to be using an Apple Pencil and I'm also going to be using an iPad Pro. The app I'm going to be using is Procreate, but if you want to join me with pencil and paper, I've got some details at the bottom of the screen. Now you can see I've already shot ahead and I've drawn an eyeball because basically we've all got an eyeball and it's quite useful, useful to get the feeling of the depth of the eye by starting off with an eyeball so that we don't end up with a very generic looking eye. So I'm going to be working from the Lenny Henry portrait by Martin Burden because it's a very simple full on eye. And I'm going to go in now looking at the corner of the eye, drawing that corner, and then I'm going to draw over the eyeball as if I really am drawing over an eyeball. It's really round. It's really three dimensional. I'm going to draw around there and then I'm going to finish off that corner and come up underneath and you can see that the lower lid is touching the bottom of the iris like that. Okay. I'm also going to have a look at the lid above. It's quite a high lid. It's quite a hooded lid. It's not a very creased lid. So it's quite high but it's still going over that form of the eyeball, like that. I'm also going to draw another sort of line above, which I think is the beginning of the brow and the eyebrow. So let's get that in. I can then use my rubber to rub out what I don't need now. So I'm going to lose some of that shadow because I don't really want loads of that. I don't want to be distracted and now it's now kind of served its purpose that I'm also going to use lose a little bit of that too and the top of the iris is now concealed by the lid so I don't need that and I'm going to also lose some of that. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting on some tone and you can see already that kind of looks three-dimensional, doesn't it? So I'm going to start putting on some tone. So I can see that the light is coming kind of up from up here, isn't it? So I'm going to put some shadow here. Quickly get some shadow in here. And there's some shadow up here as well. I'm going to make that corner darker. I'm also going to sort of try and reinforce that and get that line in there. Also, depending on how tired you are, whether you've been up all night or whether you've just naturally got bags under your eyes, you will get some shadow under the eyes. Now, eyes vary greatly depending on your age and ethnicity. So if you get a chance, have a look in the mirror at your own eye and have a go at drawing your own eye. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of shadow there. Also, we're talking about the eyeball having shadow as well. So I'm going to put some shadow in there like that. There's a little bit more shadow in there like that. And often you see the thickness of the eye at the bottom, the thickness of the skin around the eye at the bottom. And you can, you can actually see that in the, in the picture that Martin Burden has done. Eyelashes, yes, eyelashes often are done like that, aren't they? Um, I would do them a little bit more like that. They tend to go away from the corner of the eye outwards like that. And they vary, obviously, depending on the individual. The, the length varies depending on the individual. Now I'm going to make the, the actual eye itself darker because his eye is darker. And there are a lot of lights in there. I'm not going to put all those lights in. There are lots of lights. Putting the lights in is great fun. It's like the icing on the cake. But I'm not going to put them all in because it can be a little bit distracting. Now, you can have a bit of a practice at getting some more highlights in. Most 
eyes when you look at them will have some sort of light in them some reflected sort of light so and also light makes the eye come to life a little bit more so i've done a very very crude rough eye but i'm hoping that's given you a little bit of a clue how to have a go at eyes i hope you enjoyed this session thank you